It's sad to think about the passing of music legends like Aretha Franklin and Prince, and it's sad to know that the fate of their fortunes that they work so hard for will be decided by a court. That's because neither one had a will in place. Joining us right now is attorney Lori Ann Douglas. She is the founding partner of Douglas Rademacher, and she specializes in estate planning. And Lori Ann, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. You know, I have to admit I was shocked when I heard that Aretha Franklin didn't have a will. She has a lot of money that she built up over time. How, how common is a situation like this? Actually, it's pretty common. Um, the, the general population, only 50% of people have wills when they die. But with people with a lot of wealth, it happens often also because for most people, estate planning is not about the money. It's more emotional. Right. It's about the dying. And it's what do about you do with dying. all of this afterwards? And, and who do you give what? Correct. And maybe being a little concerned or confused about how Correct. You that and, out. and it's a difficult decision. Yeah. For someone like Aretha, she had a great deal of wealth. She had several children. Right. And sadly, she also had a bad medical diagnosis for many years. Right. And it's very difficult for people to do do their estate planning once they already have a, a bad medical diagnosis. What, um, what's a situation where people really need a will? Is it if you have a, a lot of money? Is it if you have children? Or is this something that everybody should really consider? Everybody should have a will once you start working, once you have children, once you own any assets at all. You really need to have a plan for it because you never know when you're going to need it. And if there is no plan, it's always more costly at the time of death. It's more complicated. It leads to more unrest amongst your family members. And most importantly, you end up paying a lot more money for court fees and taxes often when there's no plan. You know, I, I can understand when if you're if you're not sure which way you want to go in a certain direction or if these are just issues that are too hard to tackle, what would you tell somebody to try and help them get through some of those decisions? What advice would you give them? Well, the advice we really give is just see a lawyer and tell a lawyer what you want, who your family members are, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and then the lawyer can help you to design an estate plan that will effectively transfer your wealth the way you want it, to whom you want it. What about people who worry about just the cost of, of pulling a will together? What, what would you tell them? How, how do you go about it? Um, the, the cost is going to depend on your net worth, really, and the attorney that you use. But there's always an attorney. There's someone that's going to be able to prepare a plan consistent for your net worth, the individual's net worth, at a reasonable cost. I never have seen anyone not do their estate planning because of the cost. You know, life can change pretty drastically pretty quickly. How often should someone review their will? You should always review it when you have a life change, absolutely when you have children, when you take a, have a new job, when you um, sell property or purchase property. Whenever there's a life change that involves your children, your loved ones, your assets, that's going to then create a shift in um, your estate planning needs, and especially if you get married, because yeah. then you need a prenup first. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a whole other story. But, Lorianne, thank you for being here. Good talking thank to you. Thank you so much.